Hi, I'm Katherine Newton and I'm here with Ladybird and we're going to do five and five with L-U-K. Are you excited? Oh, you wanna go to sleep? Let's go. <laughs> okay. First things first, I wake up, I double cleanse. I like to do cold splashes on my face, like ice cold, like 20 times, just splash it, get the circulation going, wake everything up. I did that already this morning. So now I'm gonna show you what I do after I've done all that. We've got eye patches. Now, I don't know if these really do anything, but I like them and I like how they make me feel. They make me feel awake. They're kind of cold. If I really, really, really was good at skincare, I probably would put them in like a refrigerator or something and then they would ice my face and really wake me up. And now I'm gonna let that sit. And so what I've already done that you can see is I, I blew out the top of my hair and I put these little rollers in and I always travel with like two or three of them because sometimes I just, I don't have a heat tool or something and you just use a hair dryer at the hotel and these really help set it and make it smooth. And my clips here are to keep my hair off my face while I'm getting ready for the day. I'll go in with this little red light and I travel with this. I bring it with me in the car, it fits everywhere and I just go over it all. And what I like about it is it gets rid of um, puffiness and it makes my skin kind of warm. And I have, um, I have psoriasis too, like you can see a spot right there. And I'll use it and I'll set it on there for a while. And it helps with inflammation. Little will be here with me just talking about our day and what we're gonna do. I love this, the solo wave. It gets warm too, which I think is really nice. It just wakes my skin up. Like Little is yawning right now. She needs to be woken up. And now this is a new one that I really like. It's a new face microcurrent. And I don't know if you're supposed to use it over the eye patch, but I do. And I can feel it around, like in my skin. It like shocks my skin and it wakes me up. And I think it does something to the muscles in your face. I'll take these off. I pat it in. And now I'm ready to prep my skin. I go really fast when I do my makeup. I don't like to spend a lot of time doing it, you know, on set. I don't know what it is about me, but they just decided that I'm two hours in the hair and makeup trailer and I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm not even in prosthetics, guys. So in my life, I don't like to take a lot of time. Like I did my nails this morning, one coat, I'm done. I don't like to do, I don't like to take too much time. So. What I've been starting with recently is this Chanel highlighter and I use it under everything um, before I put my foundation on. And I just use a little bit. Look at that glow. Yes, baby. It smells really good. I don't usually like fragrance, but I'll make an exception because it's Chanel. I just like how dewy and fresh and bright my skin looks. I don't like to travel with a lot of makeup. I like to keep it light. So this is what I do when I have like a day off and I do want to look a little better than normal, but I don't want to spend all day getting ready. Clé de Pé Concealer Stick Beige. Now this is my secret weapon because it's not just concealer. I use it as foundation by warming it up. You warm it up on your fingers and it kind of gets melty and then I can really genuinely use it everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Most importantly, under the eyes. So now it's warm and I'm using it all over my face, specifically on, you know, my ready purple bits around my nose, okay? And I like to use my fingers for my concealer stick because the warmth of my hands helps the makeup really melt into my skin. So now we're still fresh, we're dewy, and I'm pretty sure that concealer stick has sunscreen in it, so SPF is very important. Do you like the look? Next is one of my favorite products that I've been using. Okay, I was like a, I'm a, I was a baby model, so I learned a lot growing up. And when you're little, nobody puts makeup on kids, but they did use this Benetint, and I still use it. This one's pretty old. So it's a lip stain, but since I'm only showing you my five products, I use it on my lips. I love this color. And on my cheeks. I 
for my face, I like to do blush just on the balls of my cheeks. And it's really blending with the Chanel highlighter and the concealer. By the way, I'm feeling very Barbie right now. This is my Barbie bathroom. And I have my pink tank on and my pink clips and my little ladybird. And we're just doing very pink today. Now next, mascara, Armani Eyes to Kill. I use this on every movie from a period piece to, you know, a superhero flick or a comedy because you can make it as thick or as light as you want. I prefer to just do lashes or mascara just kind of on the ends to elongate the eye, especially if we're doing a light makeup look. It's like it's barely there, nobody needs to know. Last but not least, we gotta take the curls out. Oh yeah, love. See that volume? Can't get that with an iron. And then I take my little clips out. Okay. Now I'm ready for the day. So that's it, my five and five. Thank you for watching and thank you little for the emotional support. Um, I hope you liked this video and I hope you liked my five little tips. Thanks guys.